A Japanese Ghost Story from Kwaiden, Stories and Studies of Strange Things, by Lafcadio Hearn, 1904. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. Oshidori There was a falconer and hunter named Sanjo who lived in the district called Tamura Nogo of the province of Mutsu. One day he went out hunting and could not find any game. But on his way home at a place called Akanuma, he perceived a pair of Oshidori, or Mandarin ducks, swimming across in a river that he was about to cross. To kill Oshidori is not good, but Sanjo happened to be very hungry, and he shot at the pair. His arrow pierced the male. The female escaped into the rushes of the further shore and disappeared. Sanjo took the dead bird home and cooked it. That night, Sanjo dreamed a dreary dream. It seemed to him that a beautiful woman came into his room and stood by his pillow and began to weep. So bitterly did she weep that Sanjo felt as if his heart were being torn out while he listened. And the woman cried to him, Why? Oh, why did you kill him? Of what wrong was he guilty? At Akanuma we were so happy together, and you killed him. What harm did he ever do to you? Do you even know what you have done? Oh, do you know what a cruel, what a wicked thing you have done? Me too you have killed, for I will not live without my husband. Only to tell you this I came. Then again she wept aloud so bitterly that the voice of her crying pierced into the marrow of the listener's bones and she sobbed out the words of this poem. Hai kururaiba, sasoishi mono wo, akanuma no, mako mono kure no, hitore ne zo uki. At the coming of twilight I invited him to return with me. Now to sleep alone in the shadow of the rushes of Akanuma. Ah, what misery unspeakable. And after having uttered these verses, she exclaimed, Ah, you do not know, you cannot know what you have done. But tomorrow, when you go to Akanuma, you will see. So saying and weeping very piteously, she went away. When Sanjo awoke in the morning, this dream remained so vivid in his mind that he was greatly troubled. He remembered the words. But tomorrow, when you go to Akanuma, you will see. And he resolved to go there at once, that he might learn whether his dream was anything more than a dream. So he went to Akanuma, and there, when he came to the riverbank, he saw the female Oshidori swimming alone. In the same moment, the bird perceived Sanjo, but instead of trying to escape, she swam straight towards him looking at him in a strange, fixed way. Then, with her beak, she suddenly tore open her own body and died before the hunter's eyes. Sanjo shaved his head and became a priest. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for listening. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we shall meet again in the next Deep Dive.